Recently, this problem began to occur with more frequency. <laughs> and it had nothing to do with my wife changing the locks. Rather, the issue is that when opening the door from the outside, depressing the thumb piece will not fully retract the latch pin. Conversely, using the inside latch works fine for now. Additionally, the thumb piece is beginning to stick in the downward position. I'm going to figure out what's going on with this handle, then replace it, so let's get after it. This model is the Camelot Bright Brass Single Cylinder Handle Set and Left Hand Accent Lever, and I purchased two of these new in 07. Purchase price now is $138 each. See how depressing the thumb piece affects the backside handle set? Removing the inside lever reveals the handle set shaft which pivots left using the thumb piece and right using the inside lever. To show even more detail, I remove the latch and while slightly depressing the thumb piece, discovered how the spoon shaped end of the shaft rotates against the handle set plate. In fact, you can see two definite wear marks here. This is a problem. Let's take a closer look. The handle set can be removed with these three Phillips screws. If you plan to reassemble it, remember to keep the screws with the parts you remove. Lastly, this Phillips screw attaches the thumb piece to the plate. Once unscrewed, the thumb piece just slides out and the handle set can be removed. The edges of the spoon shaped part shown earlier have worn grooves into this plate deep enough to prevent the latch pin from fully retracting. So rather than fix it, I found this page on the Slage website and provided all the information and photos they requested. I wanted to test their concept of what a lifetime warranty means. Although delayed due to the pandemic, this package arrived approximately six weeks later. Let's examine the contents. I estimate this package to weigh between four and five pounds. I first removed the outside handle. Here you can see the adjustable bolt receptacle at the bottom. And here the inside lever. This is the latch bolt and the bag containing screws and strike plates. Here is the new thumb turn. An associated deadbolt. Next, the ornamental cylinder trim plate. And lastly, the small print instructions and illustrations. I began by popping off the handle bolt cover with a small flat screwdriver. The bolt screws into this adjustable part of the exterior handle. The long Phillips head bolt with washer is removed. Next, these two long Phillips screws are removed from the lever. Grasping onto the outside handle, I'll pull straight out on the lever. Then do the same for the handle. The latch is removed by unscrewing these two Phillips wood screws here. The new wood screws are removed from the bag. Pull straight out on the latch, paying attention to the orientation of the latch pin as it is possible to mount this backwards. Then replace the latch in the same manner. Always use hand tools for wood screw replacement to avoid stripping the threads. Next, the latch strike plate is replaced. The short wood screws can be used or for extra security, you may substitute your own longer wood screws.
Repeat the same operation as you did below here on the deadbolt strike plate. I already have this black bolt cup in place, so I won't use the new one included in the kit. Again, longer screws may be substituted here. These two screws hold on the deadbolt thumb turn. Turn the lever to the center to reach the second screw. Hold the cylinder on the outside while pulling straight out on the thumb turn and note how these two fit back together. The two Phillips wood screws are removed here, which secure the deadbolt. Slide out the assembly. The new deadbolt has an orientation label at the top for proper insertion. Two new Phillips wood screws secure it in place. Next, the cylinder trim plate is popped off. This may be stuck to the paint, so be careful. Although I didn't show it here, the old adapter ring had to be replaced because the new one was a slightly different fit. Slide the cylinder pin through the opening in the deadbolt assembly. On the inside, orient and slide the thumb turn onto the same cylinder pin. Then reinstall using the new Phillips thumb turn screws. Moving to the handle and lever, note how the pins should align during the installation. Insert the adjustable bolt receptacle in the hole in the door at the bottom of the handle then press the handle shaft through the hole in the latch assembly. Press on the handle bottom as you reinsert and tighten the handle bolt. Realign the pins shown earlier and slide the lever into place. Insert and tighten the lever screws. Lastly, pop on the handle bolt cover with the removal notch pointed downwards. Next, test the functionality of all parts. And this project is complete. Oh, Lucy, I'm home.